Good day to all of the automotive enthusiasts from all walks of life. This is the Barn Industry Design Channel, where we take you through some of the latest automotive design content in the industry. Today, we will be emphasizing a section of Auto and Design's bi-monthly magazine, volume 262, called Premium Casual by Sylvia Barofaldi. It all started with Eiko Toyota sneakers. He questioned, why couldn't we create a car that broke down the luxury hierarchy in the way you see in the fashion world? This was recounted by Simon Humphreys, operating officer and chief branding officer of Toyota Motor Corporation when he introduced the new Lexus LBX to the press at a preview in Milan. The request made at the time by the president of the Japanese group obviously immediately kicked off a project. The smallest production Lexus to be built on a variant of Toyota Group GAB platform for compact cars. Eko remarked that if the LM is a tailored business suit and the LFA a high quality racing suit, we should also have a casual tire for the run to the shops at the weekend. The LBX project, an acronym for Lexus Breakthrough Crossover, was carried out in Toyota City, Japan by the Lexus Design Division headed by Koichi Suga. There were two basic criteria, to create a small car with the big stands and to secure the right proportions that convey the car's dynamic character. Obviously, it should not be a cheap car. It sounds simple, but it's not simple at all. And I make no secret of the fact that the first approach failed miserably. Humphreys continues noting that there is always a lesson to be learned from mistakes. Assessing the first style, we realized we had worked within self-imposed limitations. It lacked self-confidence, it needed more pride. We had to design the car we really wanted without thinking too much about the platform. So we started the new drawings that we submitted to Koji Sato, then head of Lexus and now CEO of Toyota Motor Company, who supported us. The new approach required the indispensable collaboration of engineering. The cabin has remained basically the same, but we increased the width so that the shoulders were in the rear and we pushed the front wheels further forward. We knew we were asking a lot of our engineers, and this project is an example of how things have changed radically at Toyota and Lexus with the support of Eiko Toyota. He knows that it's not enough to say, design the best. The whole company has to collaborate, and everyone plays a role. Good proportions are indispensable. Design may define them, but they ultimately have to come from engineering, otherwise it's a disaster. In addition to the rear view with the stance finally befitting a premium car, the designers dedicated themselves to an evolutionary front, where the typical hourglass grille, the Lexus spindle grille, is turning into something different. The process is already partly visible on the NX and RX. You always need a strongly recognizable frontal expression, and if you take away the grille, you lose identity but a transition to the future is taking place. It becomes an increasingly functional area. You have to think of the sensors of the safety systems, which are growing in number, whilst not forgetting aerodynamics, of course. So for the LBX, we made the spindle grill a single trapezoidal shape by placing it lower down, but it is still recognizable, says Humphreys, pointing to the grill below a narrow slit that highlights the edge of the bonnet and connects the slim light clusters. The interior of the LBX is a refined and simple ambience, intended as a kind of canvas to be personalized according to one's taste. Traditional luxury is typically a hierarchical downward choice, from top of the range to entry. At Lexus, by contrast, we view the brand as a side-by-side -side with customers. Irrespective of the size or type of vehicle you choose, you will still get the full Lexus philosophy and experience. Our brand tagline is Experience Amazing, an approach that is also reflected in the exterior color range, which is not very wide, at least at the launch of the LBX. We started with the necessary colors, the more usual ones like red or gray, plus a copper that is very distinctive, but we will unveil new ones on a regular basis. I would like this strategy to become routine throughout the life of the car. Color has a powerful value for a vehicle, Humphreys concludes. If you like our content, please share and subscribe as we continue highlighting the latest trends of the automotive industry. Take care and stay enthusiastic about your passions.